Honorable Chairman, Committee Chairman, distinguished professors, ladies and gentlemen. As a founder of the International Conference for Unity of the Sciences, I truly welcome you to ICOS 16. This year, our theme is absolute values and the assessment of the contemporary world. Today, it is really necessary that the world should be reassessed in each field. I do not know any better group to make such a reassessment than I cause this gathering of distinguished distinguished scholars representing all fields of knowledge, as well as all cultures, religious, races, and nations. I think that among all acad academic groups in the world, only ICOS is striving fundamentally to discover the true purpose and the unity of the sciences. You should know that I was among all gathering of scholars in today's world has a historical vision. The complicated problems of the world cannot be fully understood simply Within, within the narrow perspectives of individual fields of knowledge. Their solution is behind the capability of any specialized society of scholars. This is because of the problem of the world, uh, recently the problem of the human being. A human being has both physical body with material desires and material senses, and the spiritual self with spiritual desires and spiritual senses. The world is nothing but an extension of the human being with these two hold aspects, which determine the other within society and among nations. This is the reason why multidisciplinary research for solving the world's problems has to significantly consider such factors as religion, culture, art, and so on. Reassessment of the contemporary world by ICOS should certainly include a reassessment of the systems of the Eastern and Western blocks. And as, at the same time, reassessment as to what the role of science is those two blocks has been and how closely these sciences have come to their ultimate ideal. Today, regardless of how the readers of those two blocks make excuses, nobody can deny that the existing systems and orders in the world have failed to guarantee the true happiness of humankind. They have already hit their limit and they are going to decline. In order for ICOS to reassess re today's world, there should be a unifying standard and its a central point. This central point should relate with the two hold desires of the physical body and the spiritual self of the human being. I recognize that in the Middle Ages, God-centered thought and religious dogmatism blocked scientific 
exploration and limited the physical fulfillment of humans. However, it has been a big mistake for humanistic thinkers since the age of enlightenment to hold not only that religious belief is inferior to human reason, but also that human spiritual demands are in conflict with human ways. The emphasis fits the enlightenment or humanism put on the rationality has been the great driving force for the sciences as they pursue the discovery of national laws in nature. With reason only, however, we be become separated from the ultimate purpose of the human being, who has to hold nature. Without this ultimate purpose, the human being cannot stand independently and even discover the right direction, while ignoring spirituality and being satisfied with reason and intellectual accomplishment People have not been concerned about solving the urgent problems connected with their own ultimate purpose. As a result, they came to be enthralled on the materialism and the sought to lose their dignity. Truth is one and is the principle ruling both nature and the human world. This principle in nature is not root and source of all things of the universe. This principle in the human being is the absolute values of love which guide us to complete our personalities through harmony of our spirituality and physicality and to realize true goodness and beauty. I do not believe that claim by theism, humanism, and materialism have been until now only in irreconcilable conflict with each other. I rather think that they were partial, immature experience of the one principle. That is absolute bad in order to fundamentally solve various human problems of the modern world. We should find absolute values, one principle which can cope with the whole behind an existing ideologies and the claim. Absolute values bring us ultimately to the fundamental inquiry about God, to accept that God does exist is to recognize that there, there exists a universal principle which operates consistently in, future, in nature and in the human world. On this foundation, values which appear to be relative can be understood as interrelated with, with each other on the basis of absolute values. I know that absolute value, values is not a popular theme among scholars today. But I hope, first of all, that they do not make the mistake of confusion absolute values and absolutism. I have emphasized several things at IGOS, the absolute values are based on God's law. I urge IGOS to begin a comprehensive reassessment of today's world. Conventional habits of mind and attitudes has not been sufficient to, re to, to re deal with uh, the amassed problems in our world today. Furthermore, the solution of problems which contemporary society faces 
does not come from consideration of human factors only. We should also consider that humankind and the history has been proceeding toward the realization of the will of God. Therefore, the contemporary world should be reassessed from uh, viewpoints based on absolute values, which lies beyond rationalism, idealism, or even global viewpoints, and which originate from the love of God. As long as today's intelligentsias are ruled by relativistic viewpoints, there can never be unity of the sciences, nor can there be unity and harmony among races, among cultures, and among religions. Crazy pioneers are needed who, for the sake of the, of the absolute values perspective, are willing to rule risks and be persecuted bitterly. Difficult and daring decisions are necessary. If the many existing partial viewpoints are to be unified into one coherent principle, today we should acknowledge that science and philosophies have failed in solving the world's problems. The great promise of natural science has too often been used for evil purposes. And not only for the true happiness of human beings. The field of social science have often been corrupt under the influence of egoistic, sectarian political powers, and so have played a dysfunctional role in many occasions. Philosophy also have given up, has given up the great pursuit of the ultimate ideals of human beings, and hence has lost its life. Such a trend is becoming more serious because of the passive attitude of most scholars. I think that scholars should not be satisfied only with the outcome of their research, but they should respond to the call of the world, which is in need of active guidance. The world demands responsible action by scholars who enrich their capabilities for the good of mankind in accordance with the right value perspective. Conscientious intellectuals should protect the fruit of scientific resource from being misused. Further, the sciences should not serve only the partial relative values, but for absolute values, for the benefit of the universe and the whole of humankind. Scholars should not be possibly influenced by political, economic, and social currents, but should play an active role in leading society through historical insight and with a feeling of mission. The contemporary world, more than ever before, is burdened with problems which can be solved only through cooperation among nations and among races. In international and pluralistic societies, cooperative action by many intellectuals is no less important than individual resource in specialized fields. Among many scholarly conferences of the world, only ICOS has as its theme 
the ultimate issues of absolute values. And the unity of the sciences, they are not more urgent issues than these. Without finding absolute values, unity of the science is not possible. I have entrusted this mission to you. Therefore, I hope this, that this meeting will lead to a proper assessment of contemporary societies and to the accomplishment of the historical task of opening the path to creating a new culture. May God blessing be with your work and your families. Thank you.